and I needed you. I needed you, and you were too busy. You guys are bad friends. Hey yo, back check. What it really means to live life golden. Yeah, we'll go then, baby girl, we'll go then. For fuck's sake, what are you doing here? Get off your phone, put it down. You go to the gym, you're eating healthy, and you're not sleeping? Fucking clowns. Put the phone down. <laughs> Stop posting you lifting weights on Insta stories because no one cares. Don't talk to me, I'll murder you. All the pain in my heart. You better fix my entire life, you little shit. I live my day. seconds with no BS. Today's subject is hyperextensions, which is a tricky one. First up, set up, you want the pads just below your hip and to have a little bend in the knees. I personally find it hits my glutes more when my legs are wider apart and my feet are facing outwards. The most important thing with technique is that you don't want your back to hyperextend. You want to aim to be a straight line and you want to squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings to be able to get you there. You can round your back a little bit to help with glute isolation, but I wouldn't recommend for a beginner. See you for tomorrow for tomorrow's technique. I'm not allowed. I know I'm not allowed. I've done it now. I've two bleeding legs. Well, I don't think you understand. All I care about is having muscles. Anything, everything else can wait. Legalize anabolic steroids. I mean, let's be honest. If they knew, if they truly knew what you were up against right now, they would be wondering how you were still smiling, how you were still doing the things you're doing. That says a hell of a lot about you. One up. Five. Four. Chest up. Three. Two. Last one. Last one. Now hold it at the top. At the very top. Five seconds at the very top. Why? Why? Because we fucking can! Because we fucking can! And if we can, we do! And if we lift our heel off their necks now, they'll just come at us! Relax. I just want to take some pictures. I need to hear this. But post your physique pictures. It's not arrogant to be proud of yourself and your progress. Who knows? Maybe it'll inspire He's something. better and not skinny as fuck and actually has something going for him. And I think that just, that flipped the switch in me where I was like, okay, fuck you, watch this. Biggest fear? I want to be the guy that people looked at. I don't care if you liked me or didn't like I don't, I don't care. But said this motherfucker is going to keep coming after whatever the fuck is in front of him. That hurt, you know? And I think that just that flipped this switch in me where I was like, okay, fuck you, watch this. Three months left to get it done. Go, go. Cut out all distractions. Cut out all the noise. Everything that's holding you back. What can you accomplish these next three months if you just go, go? The failure looks like. Matter who we are. What matters is our plan. Better ball, better. Better, better. Keep going when no one is supporting you. When no one is clapping for you. And that is exactly why you have to become your own biggest fan. You really do have to believe in yourself when no one else does. If you don't, 
I'm sorry, but you won't achieve First anything. Step to enlightenment is the encounter with the shadow. Everything horrible that human beings have done was done by human beings, and you're one of them. Uh -oh. yeah. What is your definition of happiness? A clear horizon. Nothing to worry is it? about. The, on your is it? I swear to God. You laughing, girl? You trying to laugh? This funny? Let me show you some fucking... Wow. Well, this is going to be my personality for the rest of my life. But Lucas, I'm in school right now. I can't go to the gym. I don't care! Get up out of class! Tell your teacher to shut up and go make those guys! September 1st, 1989. Dear Diary. Soldier boy, I tell. Relax. I just want to take some pictures. 